Ms. Blackburn, you are suing Ms. Going and Mr. Goff for a return of monies that you paid them to fix your van that That's you claim they never did. That's correct, Your Honor. And for travel expenses that you incurred to travel to pick up your van. That's that. correct. So you were driving from Idaho to Oregon when you hit a deer, basically in the middle of the night. Yes, that's right. So you searched on your phone for a 24-hour auto body shop. You found their spot. You had the car sent to them. And you made arrangements with them to fix the van. So you went about your way. You rented a car. And you claim that for about a month, you continued to reach out to them. And it was excuse after excuse. And then at some point, they promised that they would actually drive the van to you. But they said they had a breakdown and couldn't get the van to you. And so now you were going to have to come get it. So you're seeking the $2,300 that you paid them and about $1,000 in travel costs to go back to retrieve the van. That's correct, yes. Ms. Going and Mr. Goff, you acknowledged that you had the plaintiff's van to repair and that it took longer than expected, but you did the repairs that she wanted done to get it back into drivable condition. Correct. So you say that at the end of the day, this is still out of pocket for you, so you do not owe her anything. That's, your, that's okay. correct, Your Honor. So Ms. Blackburn, this was a pretty bad accident, yes? It was, yes. This is a 2014? Toyota Sienna. Toyota Sienna. Yes. All right, and this is what it looked like after you hit the deer. That's right, yep. So this was the middle of the night? It was. It must have been scary. It was. I had my two boys with me, and we didn't even have cell phone reception. How did you end up finding them? We waited and flagged down a car that was passing by, and he was kind enough to drive us to the next small town where we could have cell phone service. I Google searched for somebody, and their auto shop came up as an option. And so I called them, and I told them the situation. They said, yes, that's something that we can fix. And so the next day, I had it towed to their repair You shop. got lucky. Nobody hurt? Nobody Everybody's hurt. Okay. Yeah. So you get this call at 1 in the morning. You eventually get the car to your shop. Yes. You take a look at the car. And what was wrong with it? A lot. The hood had to be just about cut off so you could get underneath it to see what was in there. <clears throat> the core support was severely damaged. That's what the radiator bolts to. I didn't know it at the time, but it, uh, it had cut the main engine wiring harness <clears throat> when it pushed the core support into the engine. At some point, was there some discussion that there might need to be repairs beyond what could be done at your shop? Yeah, the body work would, um, she wanted done in Idaho. You just wanted it to drive? I wanted to be able to get it back home to Idaho. Yeah, I just wanted it drivable. All right, so she pays you an initial portion. Right. And you start to repair the car. Correct. What happens at that point? In the midst of that, we get evicted from our shop in which we live. How long after receiving her car did that happen? A week. How long did you think the repairs would take? Probably two weeks. That was my understanding. They okay. said that it would be a week or two. I was hoping that because I was going to be at a family reunion for several days, that it would be ready in time as I came back through to drive at home. When I came back through, it wasn't ready. At that point, I did take my rental car home. So you were planning on having to return to Oregon. They had already told me that they had family near where I was at in Idaho and that it would be fine for them to drive it to just a town away from where I'm at. That was a very generous offer. We have family down there, and it had been a while since we had visited them. So you tell her, even though you didn't have to, that you're going to get it back to her, and then you end up being evicted. Are you able to finish the repairs? It was challenging, most of them. We had a hard time getting some of the parts, like the radiator and the AC condenser. And they weren't leaking, they were just bent. I still thought it would drive. Did it? it? Did you try driving it? Yeah, we drove it. She drove it to when she took it to deliver it to where she eventually picked it up. Like one mile, 15. 100 miles? Probably 15. 15, 15 miles. Yeah. So you did or did not complete all the repairs that were promised? Most of them? Yeah, most. OK. Did, when Personally, you looked... I would like to have seen the radiator come in so I could have put that in. Okay, but, but you couldn't get it? No. 